We will now try to find a general uh, formula for integrals of the form uh, e integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus alpha x square where alpha is a constant x to the power n dx where n is some integer. Okay, so uh, let's call this integral which depends on the value of n i sub n and this is by definition the integral from 0 to infinity exponential minus alpha x square x to the power n dx and now I'm going to make a transformation let's have alpha x square is equal to y square so this means that x can be replaced with alpha to the power minus 1 over 2 y and dx is going to be equal to then alpha to the minus 1 over 2 dy so I'm going to get i sub n is equal to integral uh, from 0 to infinity e to the minus y squared alpha to the power minus n over 2 y n and for dx I have to put alpha to the power minus 1 over 2 dy so this is going to be equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus y square alpha to the power minus 1 over 2 n plus 1 y to the n dy okay so for n is equal to uh, 0 what am I going to get here i0 this is going to be equal to uh, alpha to the power uh, minus 1 over 2 integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus y square dy well this is the integral of a Gaussian whose answer I know if it's minus infinity to plus infinity the answer was square root pi from 0 to infinity it's square root pi over 2 so the answer is square root pi over 2 alpha to the power minus 1 over 2 or uh, 1 over 2 square root pi over alpha uh, next I'm going to show you what happens if n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 for the i1 integral I'm going to have uh, from 0 to infinity e to the minus y square uh, alpha to the power uh, minus 1 so if I substitute n equals 1 I will get alpha to minus 1 y dy and so this is going to be uh, if I call u is equal to y square du is equal to 2y dy so i1 will be equal to 1 over 2 integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus u du and except I have another factor here which is alpha to the power minus 1 so this will be alpha to minus 1 over 2 uh, minus e to the minus u e e evaluated between 0 and uh, infinity at infinity this is going to be uh, 0 at 0 it's going to be 1 so it is uh, 
uh, therefore it's going to be minus minus plus 1 so the answer will be 1 over 2 alpha now uh, knowing these two results for n greater than or equal to uh, 2 we can use integration by parts and let's show how that works um, let's look at this integral from uh, 0 to infinity which is the integral i sub n by definition e to the minus alpha x square x to the n dx so if I uh, write this as integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus alpha x square x x to the power n minus 1 dx uh, this is going to be by recognizing that d e to the minus alpha x square is minus 2 alpha x e to the minus alpha x uh, square I'm going to write this as minus 1 over 2 alpha so I'm multiplying top and bottom with uh, minus 2 alpha integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus alpha x square minus 2 alpha x x to the power n minus 1 dx so this integral now turns into minus 1 over 2 alpha integral from 0 to infinity d e to the minus alpha x squared so this is uh, course with a dx here uh, x to the power n minus 1 so in order to evaluate this integral I'm going to do integration by parts so let's have u is equal to x to the power n minus 1 so that du is equal to n minus 1 x to the power n minus 2 dx dv is equal to e to the minus alpha x square uh, differential so it's v is equal to e to the minus alpha x square so therefore using integration by parts um, I'm going to have u v minus integral v du is equal to the integral of u dv so uh, and remember this comes from du v is equal to u dv plus v du so integrating both sides i get u v is equal to integral u dv plus integral v du so if I isolate integral u dv I get uv minus integral v du that's integration by parts so my integral has now become uh, minus 1 over 2 alpha uv which is uh, x to the power n minus 1 e to the minus alpha x square integral for evaluated between 0 and infinity minus integral v du so that is going to be uh, minus integral well I had a minus 1 over 2 alpha here so it's going to become plus uh, n minus 1 over 2 alpha integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus alpha x square x to the power n minus 2 dx so
So if I evaluate x2 and minus 1 e to the minus alpha x squared between 0 and infinity, this is going to become minus 1 over 2 alpha parentheses uh, at infinity it is 0 at 0 it is 0 plus n minus 1 over 2 alpha and I recognize that the integral that I'm looking at here is i n minus 2. So this disappears and I find that the integral i sub n is related to the integral i sub n minus 2 with a factor n minus 1 over 2 alpha i sub n minus 2. For example, uh, for n is equal to 2, what is i sub 2? It is uh, 2 minus 1 over 2 alpha i0. So it is 1 over 2 alpha times i0. And what was i0? i0 we have found to be 1 over 2 square root pi over alpha. So i2 is equal to 1 over 2 alpha multiplied by 1 over 2 square root pi over alpha this is going to be square root pi over 4 alpha to the power minus 3 over 2 so we can easily evaluate integrals of this form by knowing this recursive relationship between integrals of type n and type n minus uh, 2. So this can become handy when we are doing some calculations. So just to recap here, we are looking at integrals of the form e to the minus alpha x squared x to the n dx integrated between 0 and infinity. And first I made a uh, transformation of variables. I called alpha x squared y squared so that x is alpha to the power minus 1 over 2y dx is alpha to the power minus 1 over 2 dy and with this transformation this integral becomes from 0 to infinity e to the minus y square alpha to the power minus 1 over 2 m plus 1 y to n dy and I evaluated the integral for n equals 0. For n equals 0, I encountered the integral of a Gaussian between 0 and infinity, that's square root pi over 2. So it's 1 over 2 square root pi over alpha. For n equals 1, I have found, uh, I have a very simple integral, e to the minus y square is together with its derivative uh, on the side. So if I call u is equal to y squared, du is equal to 2y dy, so it is uh, e to the minus u du integral. So I have a factor of 2 coming from du, so alpha to, pi, uh, to the power minus 1 over 2 times this integral, that is just the uh, minus exponential minus u to the power minus u, uh, in, evaluated between 0 and infinity that gives me 1 so it is 1 over 2 alpha for n greater than or equal to 2 we can use integration by parts by uh, calling uh, e to the minus uh, uh, alpha x square derivative uh, dv so that v is e to the minus alpha x square and uh, u x to the power n minus 1 we have shown using the, the integration by parts, integral u dv is uv minus integral v du, that there is a recursive relationship. Integrals of the type n are equal to n minus 1 over 2 alpha uh, multiplied by integrals of the type n minus 2.